Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. So yeah, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, this is going to be for you and the other person. All right, so we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Aries? regards to them and somebody that they are dealing with, that they are thinking about. What do we have for Aries? But the strongest energy will come in, so that's just the way it goes. So you may be thinking about somebody else, but somebody could be overriding that energy. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You and the other person. Whoever you're thinking about or whoever is overriding this energy just wants to be free. They want this to be over with. They are waiting. They're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this to be over with. Uh, whoever you're dealing with. So my advice is for you to go down that path that you have been thinking about going down. There is a higher in power involved this week with the Hierophant card. I feel like your gut is speaking to you, your intuition, your higher power, God perhaps even. You know, the Hierophant is somebody, you know, you have access to God, okay? Um, I think that you need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith. This is your column right here. I feel like right now you may be losing your strength, losing your willpower, feeling weak, feeling uh, not very well. Some of, some, maybe some of you are sick. I don't know. You may or may not be, but you may, your health may not be where you want it to be. I feel like you need to find some courage. You need to, you need to really work on your health this week as well. I also feel like there's a feeling of being inadequate or having having a hard time. I feel like you're struggling in some way. I think that you need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith. Talk to God. Talk to God or your higher power. Okay? Um, you, you're, you have a golden opportunity that is going to be presented to you this week. Okay? It's a big, huge opportunity. It's huge. Okay? So you definitely have a huge opportunity. This That's a huge one. Okay? That's, I don't know why it's not, there we go. So yeah, you have a, that's, that's huge. That's a huge golden opportunity that is going to be presented to you. Um, it's consider it a gift, some sort of gift. You're going to be given a gift, but there's a lack of, of, I don't know, with that strength card reversed, there's a lack of desire or a lack of confidence or feeling very weak, you know, doubtful. I'm telling you to believe, take this opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity, but if you doubt it, you know, believe it. Because these are both need to believe. You need to have faith, have faith in new things. Um, I feel, I don't know if there's a, if you're in a state of depression or you're in a state of despair. I feel like there's a higher power, which is God, that has been, obviously, we just did a reading for December, that has been hearing your prayers. That is your prayers, okay? That's a higher power that has heard your prayers. Okay? So now they're going to give you what you've asked for. This is, this is a reality check. This is a golden opportunity. It is a gift. It is a blessing. It is definitely something that you manifested. You manifest something by asking for it. God. Okay. So this is the week that it begins. Aces are a new beginning. So this is a new beginning that is being offered to you. It is a opportunity for stability, for security, for better health as well. I feel like your health has not been very well. This will help you. It will help you to heal. Okay. Whoever you are dealing with is waiting for money. Okay. They're waiting for money. They're waiting for some sort of payout, unfortunately. Okay, and they're waiting. They're waiting for this battle to end. This is a battle. It's the end of a battle. They're waiting for this to end. They want to be free. So whoever you're dealing with is wanting freedom. They're wanting you to take a new opportunity. They are. 
They're wanting you to take this new opportunity. My advice is to go down that path. It's time to withdraw from others. It's time to completely go within. It's time to make your move. It's time. It's time for you to realize your true identity. Listen to yourself. I see a lone time ahead. Okay? My advice is for you to withdraw. To, to do what you need to do. I feel like whoever you are dealing with, the main challenge is... You know, the love that you once had. I think that you had love with this person. and I, But, and, but I feel like there's another connection here because of the Three of Pentacles. I think that you have a, or they have, somebody has another connection because of that Three of Pentacles. And I think that's the main challenge. Your future together looks, it looks to me like uh, you're, you may still be working with this person, but maybe in a financial manner. There's some sort of money, money issues or uh, exchange of money here. Whoever you're dealing with is is wanting this to be over. They want to relocate. They want to go. They want the money. You know, whatever that means to you. Somebody want is 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 wondering when this is going to be over. You know, I feel like um, three of pentacles. Now that is a card of togetherness. It is. Uh, I feel like you're, you're, but giving, giving somebody, I don't know if it's money because that's money in that person's hand, giving somebody money, somebody you're dealing with somebody who really, really wants money. Anyhow, I feel like this week you are going to be going through a period of enlightenment. You may be withdrawing. You may be withdrawing. They may be, be withdrawing. Uh, now, the hermit is seclusion. It's, it's isolation. It's uh, going your own way, going down a new path, you know, seeing the light, seeing the light in, in something, you know, um, we have a very wise, wise individual who is choosing to go down a new path. So I do feel like that is you. I feel like that is you. I also feel like um, there is some sort of freedom here. There's, there's freedom. There's freedom. Somebody is going to be broken free. And they're wanting to be free. They're wanting to go. They're wanting peace. They're wanting harmony. They are. I think that's whoever you're dealing with. And I feel like this person has drained you in some way. Maybe it's even your bank account. I don't know. There's some sort of draining here. But I do feel like there's been, there was some sort of connection with this person. Maybe it was a soulmate connection. But I feel like it, I honestly, I'm going to tell you something right now. I feel like that it's over because this is the end. The Six of Wands is the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight. Um, I'm going to get another card for that Two of Cups. That, that main challenge between the two of you is... The connection. There is some sort of connection here, but I feel like there's a third party because of that three of pentacles. There's a, there's somebody that, and maybe the connection is with somebody else. There could be a connection with somebody else, which forces you to go down a new path, you know, or you decide to go down a new path towards another connection. Um, There's some sort of loyalty here. I feel like there's been some sort of loyalty to another person. But now it's it's time to retreat. It's time to withdraw. Okay? It's time to make your move. Seeing very some seeing something clearly. Becoming clear of a choice. Coming out of confusion becoming wiser there's a jesus consciousness here somebody is becoming consciously aware and i think that it's you i think that you are going to become consciously aware of a connection that involved i don't know i think there's another person with that three of pentacles
I think you're going to be going it down your own. And my advice is to go within, is to retreat, it's to withdraw, to become aware. You need to become aware. You are going to become aware. You're going to see something. This is seeing something clearly. You're going to see something clearly about a partnership that involves money. It's all about money. I feel like you have a lot to offer. I feel like you have a lot to offer. I feel like you have a direct connection to God. I feel like you may feel like you you may be you may have some sort of doubts about your um connection to God or doubts about your stability or your security, but I don't think that you should. I I think that you need to let go of those doubts. I think that there's some sort of godly energy around you. I feel like you are moving to a better place. I feel like you're also going to be be um breaking free or somebody's breaking free from you. I mean, this is this is freedom. This is an obstacle being removed. There's been some lies. Somebody's been lying. Whoever you're dealing with has been lying. I don't know if they've been lying about money. They're waiting for this battle to be over. This is waiting for the battle to be over. Somebody is waiting. They're waiting. And they're moving towards a new partnership. Somebody is moving towards a new partnership. I don't think it's you. And I think because you have another opportunity that is waiting for you to grab onto it. That's what it is. I think it's time to relocate. And I do see a relocation here. I do. I think that, that, that the season is over. This season is over. It's time to go. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. I also feel like there is something coming to fruition in which you planted seeds a long time ago. You may, ha Some of you may have somebody coming in if you are single. If you're single and you are watching this. You may have somebody coming in. You may have somebody coming in that you manifested. Okay, you manifested a new opportunity. This could lead to commitment. It could lead to marriage. This is somebody that is at a that is that may be at a distance. This is somebody you maybe have been communicating with. Uh, maybe somebody you worked with at some point. You know, you worked with on a as at some point in your life. There could be a reconnection with this person. This person may come out of hiding. They may see clearly that they want to have a partnership with you. There could be even I could even say that there's a reconciliation here, perhaps, perhaps for some of you, um, if you are single. There is de somebody has definitely manifested a partnership of some sort, a golden opportunity for long-term commitment. This is a long-term commitment is, is coming. So, so if you have been alone, if you have been alone, you've been in hermit mode, you've been focusing on yourself, you've grown wiser. You've become enlightened. You have a new partnership that is coming in. And I feel like if you meet this person, maybe it's through a job or at the bank. Or it's somebody that you knew a long time ago. This higher power is bringing you a long-term opportunity something that can you can you can bank on this is something that will last but there's a lot of doubts here and there's fear there's fear I think that you have been in a state of confusion. There may be even illusion, but this is coming out of illusion. There's definitely a soulmate connection here as well. Some of you may run into somebody. 
you know, there's been a period of, of uh, isolation as well. Somebody needed to learn some sort of lessons. They did. They needed to become wiser. They needed to learn a lesson. I think that you have been dealing with somebody that fights, that likes to fight, that likes to win. But that obstacle is being removed and I think that they're going to be happy. This person is, whoever you're dealing with is going to be happy and I think it's because they have another connection as well and I'm sorry to say that. I feel like you have another connection and I feel like they have another connection. I know that you are going to be presented with an opportunity that is way, 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 way too good to pass up. But you may be going down this path by yourself, leaving something behind. You know, leaving behind a partnership that was based on financial stability. Somebody may have married into money and now they're thinking it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. Anyhow, whoever whoever you are dealing with is ready to move. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to uh, head towards a new partnership. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this week you're going to be getting some sort of clarity. You're going to be getting some sort of clarity in regards to a partnership that you have worked with in the past. You've worked with this person or you've dealt with this person in the past. You're going to be getting some sort of clarity. And it's going to, it may make you sick. I'm mean, just being honest with you with that strength card reversed. You may, it may make you feel sick. Or depressed because of that strength card reverse you may get some sort of information that is depressing I'm just I got to be honest with you but that ace of Pentacles is an opportunity of a lifetime which breaks you free and allows you to go down a new path which I feel like you've been thinking about going down this new path. So yeah, I think it's time to completely go within. You're going to be realizing your true identity. You're going to make, be making a big move. You're going to be withdrawing from a partnership that was based, I don't know, based on illusion by the looks. It was a poor choice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see this week you becoming aware, becoming aware of, you know, some lies and getting a new opportunity to a big, huge opportunity. You're going to be getting a huge opportunity. Good luck. <laughs> 